Oh no. Horrific cast. Horrific cast right there. Freak, man. I had a bite, took the trailer off my grub. Pretty sure it was a walleye. Kind of got some little teeth marks on there, too. Got one. Oh, heck yeah. Got a walleye. Heck yeah, dude. Nice. We're gonna keep this guy too. Heck yeah. Don't come off. It's a decent fish too. Heck yeah. Right on this drop off. All right. Take it easy, buddy. Nice, it's a nice eater right there. Heck yeah, dude. That's a nice eater walleye right there. This morning I was able to go out and get us some supper for today. And we're not a fish eating family, but um, every once in a while we like to at least try to catch and eat something. And so this morning uh, I was blessed enough to catch this small walleye here, 18 inch fish. And if you wanna just take a look at those chompers in there, Check that out. Just like a bunch of broken glass in there. Can you see that? Look at that. That's one mean looking dude for sure. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna insert the blade here. You are going to cut around the walleye cheek and then you're just gonna flip it over. And <laughs> hey Zadie, what are you doing girly? Huh? Yes, you seen daddy cut the fish? All right, then you're just gonna cut that little guy off. And I guess right there, that little piece of meat right there. She's is right. It's delicious. It's so cute. All right, and then uh, I'm gonna turn the fish over and we're gonna cut out the cheek on the other side and do the exact same thing. I'm gonna cut it out and then uh, just flip it over. And then if you just get the blade and you just turn the knife, you can actually just peel this little uh, cheek off. So you can grab it and peel it off. Hi Zadie. And then right there you got two little pieces of meat. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come from right here behind the gill cover and you are going to cut down on the walleye until you reach about the backbone. You're gonna come right along the back. Go all the way down. Down the fish. And you can do the same thing to the other side. You're gonna cut down until you reach the, the spine and you're going to cut along the back of the spine yet again. And go all the way down the fish and you're just gonna cut along the back of the fish. Get a couple good cuts. You're gonna go through the fish, right along, come out of the bottom of the fish and then you're gonna cut down past the tail. And then before you cut the filet off, uh, I like to turn the fish over. That way the fish isn't all flipping and flopping around. Um, and then do the same thing along the back. So you're gonna come along, find the rib cage, and you're gonna cut across the back, separate that meat. And then once you get through the rib cage, past the bone, you're gonna go through the fish. Like so. You're gonna cut down. But then on this fish, you will also cut down past the on the fish. Actually, you know what we'll do is we'll come here, do a little bit of surgical work, turn back, and then we'll cut down through there. Cut down. Look at that. Look at that. Jeez. All right, so we're gonna turn the fish over. We're gonna do the exact same thing. All right, 
And there you have it. We're just gonna kind of clean up the fillet a bit. You cut the fish, you run your finger along here, you can still see that there's uh, those rib bones that we cut through. Take your knife, and you're just gonna go right underneath those ribs, and you're just gonna lightly follow them down. And you'll actually, you're gonna, you're gonna lose a little bit of meat in this process, but at least you're gonna have your, uh, your boneless walleye fillets. All right, there's that. Do the same thing on this fillet right underneath the uh, rib bones. You can see them, I'm lifting them. And you're just gonna kinda cut down and cut them out. All right. Now the last step after you've cleaned and kinda prepped your filet is removing the meat from the skin. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove the skin from the meat. You're just gonna flip it over. And then uh, once you get cut in, you can turn the filet around, put, hold the skin down, and then just in a clean cut, you get that meat separated from the skin. Look at that. Look at that. There you go. You got that skin removed. And then there you go, you got one beautiful walleye filet. Holy cow, doesn't that look amazing? Do the same with the other side. Cutting down the middle down the middle and then uh, again we're not big fish eaters so um, not too much practice on this so don't, don't be too uh, don't go too hard on me in the comment section perfect so this is uh, basically the fruits of our labor right here what we're gonna do is uh, we are going to throw it in the flour just gonna roll it around excess flour off bring it Get those dudes nice, covered. And then at the far plate at the end, um, we got our panko breadcrumbs. We just picked it up at Walmart. Just to add a little taste to the food is uh, one of my favorite brands. These are, uh, this is Bees Rub, the local company. Make sure you guys always support and buy local. Um, definitely, we love this stuff. We use this stuff religiously. Um, right here, we're gonna be using one of their new Products. It's called Hook on Seafood, and I think it's actually made for fish. Pretty cool. Get close up on that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this, and we're just going to powder it in the panko. Get a good, good amount in there, and then we're just gonna mix that up. Oh, that smells amazing. Smell that. <sighs> All right. Want to smell it, Zadie? How's that smell? Mmm, all right, just gonna take it like that. Just start chucking it in here. In like that. Then we're just gonna take those breadcrumbs, just throw some more. More breadcrumbs. We really want this stuff to be coated on here. So the bees rubs. Really get it in there, mix it. And then, yeah, you're gonna get messy. That's pretty much inevitable. Okay, so now that we got our oil nice and hot, all right. So we're good, we're rolling. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little fish nuggets here, and we're just gonna start placing them inside the oil. It smells really good. All right, got a bunch of walleye in the disc, go ahead. All right, shout out to Bassman right here, real one. All right, there we go, cooking this dude up. You can see it's already starting to Pretty starting to turn golden. So what we're gonna do is we gotta be flipping it. That piece was actually really golden. So that piece is golden brown. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. We're just gonna watch it, admire it. You can smell it. Oh my gosh, it just smells so amazing. It doesn't even smell like fish. Check it out. Look at those golden nuggets right there. They're just falling apart. Did you see? Look at that. Here. Let's try some. Want to try some? We'll try that little walleye cheek. Here. You want to try some? It's really hot. Here. Blow it, blow it, baby, blow it. Here, try it. Try it, try it. Try it, take a bite. Take a bite. Cheese. It's cheese. <laughs> Is cheese? cheese. 
You like it? That way you put it on, on fish, you, you dip it in ketchup? I like it. All right, lemon. here, let's try it. We're gonna put some, uh, what is it, tartar sauce? What you get? Some tartar sauce. We don't have tartar sauce. Do we not? Let me check the top up there. Watch Zaydee, make sure she doesn't throw it on the floor. She's eating it all. Is she really? Mm-hmm. Here it go. Mm. How do you, uh, can't make it hard? Is it relish and mayonnaise? All right, guys, and so here's the moment of truth. We got our fish here. We left them on the burner just a little bit too long, but just take a look at that. Look at that fish. Like, it just looks incredible. Honestly, it looks amazing. You can tell it's cooked because the meat's all white. Um, we are gonna try it out, I guess. Like I said, I'm not a big fish eater, so this is almost uncharted waters. For me, I'm more of a chicken and pizza kind of guy. Um, so fish isn't really something I'm eating too often. So let's try it out. I guess we'll take this, dip it. <laughs> you know, it's actually it's actually really good again it is really good it is amazing i was so lucky that i was able to go out and catch that walleye um i'm gonna finish eating this actually do you want to try some here try some from behind the camera i know you don't want to be on camera or anything but just try it here i'll let you come try it you take that camera for the people at home let them know uh what you think oh my gosh it's falling apart yeah it is so flaky it's like you think it's good? I think you it's like good. It? I like it. Well, there you guys have it. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, my name is Mark Zaniga. You just watched Fish in the 509. I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Peace. I got, I got to eat the rest of this. Peace out.